When the eagle spreads its wings, it's something to behold. It's something to behold. Nearly nine feet from tip to tip when it spreads its wings, it was built for high places. It was built to soar. I think you would say meters, about three meters. It, it was built to soar, to fly. It was built to withstand storms so that when the storm comes and other birds run for shelter, the eagle runs into the storm and uses the storm to lift it up so that it can fly above the storm. You know you're an eagle when you ran into a storm that you thought was going to kill you and instead of it killing you, it lifted you higher than you've ever been lifted before. It's a sure sign you're an eagle. Can you hear me tonight? Spread those wings and it begins to fly. It can see several miles even in the night. It can see its prey and its opponent. Eagles are awesome birds. In fact, the eagle mates in the middle of the air. They make love. Eagles make love in the air. Boy, that's a tough act to follow. <laughs> Woo. You can edit it out of the tape. Relax. You can cut it right out of the tape. Just clip it right out of it. Come right out of there. In the air. Way up in the air, they intertwine and in a, in a love dance, they go soaring through the air and it looks like they're plummeting down, tied one with the other in the middle of the air. They make love, they reproduce in the air. I tell you what's good about that. The eagle knows that he ain't hooked up with no chicken. because this old chicken can't get up in the air that high. It, it might think the eagle is pretty cute, but it can't, it can't get up there where the eagles fly because its body is fat and its wings are too short and it can only flap up a little ways and fall back down again. And some of you have got a lot of eagles that are trying, you are eagles and you've got a lot of chickens that are trying to flap up there and get where you are. But God will take you to a place where you can only hook up with other eagles and eagles are all, do you hear what I'm saying to you? So don't be frustrated when you see the chickens flapping up and falling down because at this stage in your life, it's time for you to be synergistic with other eagles. Eagles love on another level. Eagles live on another level. Eagles think on another level. Eagles function on another level. Eagles dream on another level. Eagles build on another level. Glory to God. If you had somebody reject you, leave you, walk out the door, stop crying about it. It was just a chicken. What you need is another eagle with wings and dreams and visions and concepts and ideas who's not jealous of you who's not intimidated by you who's not fighting you you know that it's an eagle when they're not jealous of you you know it's another eagle when they can think thoughts like you think you know it's another eagle when they can pray for you and help you to get to the next level it's only the chickens that are down on the ground talking about everybody You think an eagle is something by himself? Let him get with another eagle. Oh, wonder how much further you would be if you would focus on being synergistic with other eagles rather than expending your energy trying to change chickens. Nothing against chickens. I had one yesterday.
I eat them, baby, but I don't fly with them. I need eagles in the house!